Okay, we have a pretty awesome example here of integration with the aid of partial fractions. So uh, this has got lots of bells and whistles on it, so hold on to your hats. Here we go. Uh, looking at this, we want to break it down into a series of smaller fractions. Uh, to do that, it's helpful to um, factor the denominator first, of course. So in doing that, we get uh, the integral of x squared minus x minus 6, but it's going to be over x times x squared. Oops, is that a, I want that to be a plus x. That is a plus x in this example. If it was a minus x and it became minus 1, then you could factor it into three parts. You'd get x and x plus 1 and x minus 1, and that might be an entirely good example. But in this case, I want one that's not factorable because it's a little bit more difficult and a little more interesting. Here we go. So that means that we're looking for something that's in the form of a over x plus bx plus c over our non-factorable, right? We can't break that down, x squared plus 1. Well, when we go to cross multiply here, that way and this way, before we would get our common denominator again, like that, I won't write it, we would get in the numerator, we would get bx squared plus cx, and then plus, and then when we multiply this way, we would get ax squared plus a, all right? Well, we know that that's going to be equal to this numerator here, and that's x squared minus x minus 6. So if I look at just the squared terms, I know that ax squared plus bx squared equals x squared. So ax squared plus bx squared equals x squared. And then I only have the cx term. There's no other c or another term with x in it. So cx equals, uh, in this case, it's negative x. And then this is the only constant term, and that's going to be equal to our only constant a, then is equal to minus 6. So that starts us off. When we cancel the x's, we get c is equal to minus 1. And then when I plug in my, I can cancel the x squareds, of course. And when I plug in minus 6 for a, plus b then, well, that's going to be equal to 1. Add 6 to both sides. So b equals 7. So I know then that this integral will become the integral of, what is that? That's minus 6 over x, and then plus, uh, let's see, 7x minus 1 over the x squared plus 1 part. That whole thing is my new integral broken down into partial fractions, okay? Well, this is pretty straightforward. We can do this part quite easily. Um, I guess I can write it separately. Let me separate this all out. This is x, the integral, and I'll pull the negative 6 out front, and that's 1 over x dx. Now, this it's tempting to look at this as one single integral and to try to do some sort of fancy substitution, but um, it really makes things complicated, and I think it's pretty darn near impossible. But if we break this apart and do this integral, pull the 7 out, now it's something that we've likely seen before, simpler to do. And then this is the other fraction then, minus, I'm going to pull the minus sign out, but then it's 1 over x squared plus 1 dx. So this is our newly rewritten integral in expanded but easier form. So this then is just minus 6 ln of x. Love that. This guy now is quite straightforward as a u substitution. So I'll do that over here in the sidebar. I'm going to let my u be the denominator. u is equal to x squared plus 1. du then is equal to 2x dx. 1 half of du then is to x dx. And that's the beauty of the substitution is that I've got the x dx there. So I can substitute in the denominator. I get 7 times the integral is 1 over u, and then it's just du because, oh, but don't forget the 1 half, 
seven halves. Bring that out front there. Now this guy, when I go to do this, ah, look at here we've got something that looks kind of familiar. That looks an awful lot like an inverse tangent if I just switch those. So this becomes then minus tan to the minus one of uh, x. That's it. I haven't done this yet though, so I have to do the integration. I'm going to just carry this down. Minus 6 ln of x plus 7 over 2 ln of x squared plus 1 and then minus tan to the minus 1 of x. And then don't forget the plus c. Alright? That is critical. And there we go. A lot of stuff in that.